Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Good morning. This is the first ROM based on the official over-the-air update from Verizon, the VRB MB1 over-the-air update. It's Clean ROM 6, Android 4.1.2. My name is Hobart, and welcome to Android University. Uh, Scott over at Scott's ROM's got this baby running. One little problem. There was a problem with uh, the Play Store. Every time you downloaded something, it would kind of force close. It did it on me, too. Or there would be a package uh, file that was not signed correctly or something. So he actually did a, a patch, a zip file patch, which I just flashed. Uh, and you can either do that from the original version 6, or you can, if you have not flashed this yet, you can download uh, R2, which is release 2, which has that fix in it already, so you don't have to flash the patch, okay? Uh, that's just the two options that you have. But the Play Store is working. I just downloaded a couple things just to make sure, and it's working again, no problem. So, some of the new things in the 4.1.2 update from Verizon. Now you can take a picture while you're on the phone, better text prediction, better Bluetooth performance. The email syncing has been improved, and some bloatware has been added as well, which, of course, Scott took out of here. So, uh, let's try one of the things here that they said that they added for the... Uh, 4.2, 4.1.2 update. We're going to uh, get on the phone here. We're going to go over to the camera and see if we can get and take a picture. And we are taking pictures. And if you look, we are still on the phone. So that feature does work in Android 4.1.2. You can take a picture while you're on the phone. Better text prediction. I have noticed that it has gotten some harder words, but I did switch over to the uh, Android 4.2 keyboard, and I'm using that uh, text prediction. So if it works for you, it works for you. Better Bluetooth performance. I don't use Bluetooth, so uh, I've heard that it's much, much better than it was before, so you're going to have to test that on your own. Email syncing has been improved. My email synced just fine. No problems with that either. So when you're using the Aroma installer to install this ROM, you will be uh, having the choice to choose your launchers. I did choose the stock 4x4, but you have the option of 5x4, 5x6, Apex, and Nova. You can also choose your Google and your Samsung apps, which ones you want and which ones you don't want. Um, you can also choose uh, apps like you know, Polaris, Terminal, Dropbox, Flash, uh, Ad Free, and things like that as well. He did add in the Nexus 10 ringtones and took out the Nexus 7 ringtones, added five new fonts. Google Ears and Calendar are now an option in Aroma as well. And that's pretty much it. A few of his speed tweaks and performance tweaks, and there you go. You have Clean ROM 6. Uh, it's wonderful. The new 4.1.2 uh, is very quick, very fast. Very fluid is one of the first things that I noticed when I uh, booted up the ROM for the first time, going into the app drawer. Everything is very quick. Going back out to the uh, notification pull-down, you see how fast and smooth that is? Now, I'm not saying that Scott didn't do some tweaks and stuff to make it do this as well, but I can definitely notice a difference in performance from 4.1.1 to 4.1.2, okay? Um, so let's go to the settings menu and see what we're working with here about phone. We are on Android 4.1.2, the VRB M, uh, VRB MB1 baseband. That one doesn't roll off the tongue quite as easy. Running the uh, stock kernel, you can see the date is February 14th, and we are on clean ROM version 6.0. So uh, let's go back out to the settings menu. looks pretty much like a, uh, a standard settings menu. You have all the same options. Make sure you go into developer options. Uh, this was already done for me uh, in, in this ROM, but this one thing that I always do when I open up the ROM, you go into developer options, go to window, animation scale, transition, animation scale and animator duration scale and change all of those to 0.5 and that will make things a little bit snappier for you okay uh, the rest of the menu here we pretty much know date and time all your motion settings are here as well direct call which we can click on that smart alert double tap to stop tilt to zoom panda browse messages sensitivity settings I always do this as well you can go in here gyroscope calibration and actually lay this thing down on the table calibrate it I just do that. I don't know why. I think it helps something, and I read that somewhere, but I don't remember what it is right now. So that might be something you want to do, and that's in the motion settings. Uh, different accounts that we have, security, lock screen options. Uh, you're not going to have the AOSP lock screen and stuff like that yet, so it's going to be the stock touch screen or touch whiz lock screen options. Battery's been pretty good so far. Um, I've had it, well... I had it. Uh, I had to reboot the phone, but it's been up for about two and a half hours, three hours now, and I'm at 88%, which is pretty good. Screen time, I uh, only got nine minutes and two seconds on it, so uh, not a good test for battery life, but uh, it's been pretty good so far, i got to say. Home screen mode, sound, display, of course, the sound. He put a bunch of those new ringtones in there. If we go into here, you can hear some of them. I've got some of mine. Let's see.
I don't know which ones of these are Galaxy S3 and which ones of these are Nexus 10, but uh, those are some of the ringtones that you have in your sound settings uh, section. And more settings, mobile networks, tethering, your tethering works, everything works on here. So uh, that's what the settings menu looks like. Going back out to the home screen here, I am on the 4x4 launcher, so this is the stock launcher. I wanted to keep it as stock as possible before I started changing and putting inverted apps in there and the five, uh, 4x5 launcher and things like that. So that's what it looks like. This is the new AccuWeather widget. It's the AccuWeather app that you can get from the Play Store and the widget that comes along with it, not the Samsung TouchWiz AccuWeather widget. And it's a cool change, so I kind of like it, and I left it on there. Uh, Google Now is working. No problems with Google Now at all. I actually have the Google Now, um, the new Google Now widget right there under Clean ROM. You can't see it because of the light, but it does give you weather and traffic and things like that, which is cool. Um, Google Now works. GPS works as well. Let's go over to GPS. Do, 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 do. Why am I not finding GPS? There it is. GPS status. Now I am inside, so it might be a little bit slower as far as locking on than it would be if I was outside the normal sky, but you can see 14 out of 17. It locks on right away. Google Maps also has me in the right place as well, so that's working as well. So uh, really not much else to talk about. Everything is pretty much standard on here. He's added a few little tweaks. Um, Clean ROM is built that way. It's supposed to be a modified stock experience. It's supposed to be just like stock, uh, but better. And that's exactly what he's done here. So definitely give it a check. Definitely download it. Again, the Play Store issue, if you've downloaded it and installed it already, you can just flash the, flash the patch. If you have not downloaded it and installed, you can uh, download the new R2 version and install that. Clean ROM 6 from Scott's ROMs and all the uh, team over there. Great job, guys. And definitely download this ROM. Don't forget to check out my other videos over at YouTube.com, Android University. And thanks for watching. My name is Hobart. Have a great day. See ya.